I can I can definitely see that this is this could be a, a big game changer. I think is you know, um, for this industry where there's so much, there's so many little like you said, there's so many little administrative things and check boxes and forms and this we gotta you know get this piece of software looped in and then you're talking about you know the the user the human error component of it where um you know if if an, an adjuster is using hover or some sort of like geospatial like capture on the outside and they they would have missed because they their phone rang right in the middle of their their inspection they would have missed you know, getting the awnings on the back side of the house or all the window wraps on the left side that were all damaged, but the AI caught it, right? And it was like, oh, by the way, you know, you need to add this to your estimate. Um, yep. That's that's a significant, and I, I, I feel like that's one of those things that will help, you know, the carriers to knock down the supplements and the, the people getting mad. I mean, you know, as, as you know, I mean, their number one goal is to keep the customer Right. And there's, there's just below that number two goal is to have them, you know, refer, you know, to, to, to talk about them to their friends and family. Right. Those are those two main things is they, they want to have and having a much more accurate, you know, not everybody has a claim who's got insurance. You know, I think I heard the stat I heard one time was one out of 10 people who have homeowners insurance ever file a claim and have one claim. And that's like, but that's like a, you know, that's 10% which is significant, especially at those levels that those guys, are, that's, those big carriers are at. Um, so this is, I mean, I'm not scared. I'm not worried about it. I mean, it's, it, I, I, I feel like, and we could have like a broader discussion about this because um, we were joking about you guys being Skynet <laughs> on our last call. Um, <laughs> but if things change so much that it's like, well, there's no more truck drivers, there's no more adjusters, there's no more doctors, it's robots and AI and everything else. And we have a fundamental change in our civilization, which everything is going to change, right? So it's not like, right. oh, well, I guess I'll have to go be a general manager at Bucky's now. Have you seen how much they make? It's like $250,000. I can't be an adjuster because the job went away. I'll just have to go do So everything is going to change, right? So if it's going to be like that big of a deal, then it's, we're, do you know what I mean? So I'm curious yeah, on your I, thoughts on like just I, I, AI in general. I think we should probably be more worried about the white collar workers, right? When yeah. you when you get to yeah. part of AGI, artificial general yeah. intelligence, yeah. and right, like should that happen? And there's something that Veris can deploy that's smarter than me and more creative and infinitely faster and doesn't get tired at 8 p.m. when <laughs> after a long day. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, we're a publicly traded organization and we're looking for creating shareholder value and, you know, paying me may not be, you know, the best thing that creates shareholder value if I'm not yeah. the best resource to get the job done. And so in, in some respects, it is it is a little bit scary for everybody. Um, yeah. I think the the people who get out of their seats and they get in the field and they get stuff done, I think they probably will be safer related to AGI than others, but I can't predict five years out. I don't think anybody, oh, can. No. if anybody says that no. they can, they're lying to you. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. That's it's you, I, nobody can really see around that corner. I don't right. think because you don't know how, I mean, they can say, well, we, we think it's going to do this and this, but how is ever, how is, how are we going to react to that? How are we going to incorporate that? Like Google glass? I mean, that was like a big deal and then it was totally got shot down. Although I see like, the glasses things are starting to come back, so I don't know what they changed about it. But, but we'll uh, see. <laughs> but yeah, imagine being, run at it. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. As an adjuster, like, all right, I'm going to scope your loss, and you put in your glasses and just <laughs> walk around the room. Uh, I mean, it'd be awesome. It'd be great. Yeah. I mean, or or just have it done through your GoPro. Or have you seen the rabbit? Have you heard of no. the rabbit? Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I have. Yeah. The I mean, maybe it's. Maybe it's your rabbit that, you know, follows you around. Who knows? Like, yeah, I, mean, I don't no think idea. that would actually be a thing, but I, I can see Apple really making strides on that front because they, they have, you know, they've got the, the market and they've got the yeah, devices sure. and then they just make them more intelligent. So it's coming. Mm -hmm. Technology is moving at an accelerated pace. As an independent claims professional, more than ever, you must keep your finger on the pulse 
of the industry. Vest adjusters are flexible and adaptable, and the best way to keep on top of all the changes is to attend the major conferences. And there is really only one conference that will put you on the cutting edge of claims tech, and that is the Verisk Elevate Conference held annually in Salt Lake City. Who's Verisk? You ever heard of a little program called Xactimate? Yeah, that's those guys. Three full days of keynotes, panels, presentations, and even level one, two, and three certification prep for Xactimate. On top of that, go hands-on with the absolute cutting edge of Xactware and other tech in the solutions gallery. Want to know what's coming for Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile and Xact Analysis and so on? See it at the solutions gallery before you use it in the field or at the desk. There are really only two can't miss claims industry events every single year, and this is one of them. Best of all, Adjuster TV will be there. There is still time to register. Just go to Google and type in Verisk Elevate 2024 or click the link in the description below and we'll see you there. I hope I see you there in person. In the meantime, you don't have to wait to see me in this next video.